Russia's energy giant Gazprom says it will be reducing daily gas deliveries via the Nord Stream pipeline to Germany due to the repair of compressor units. Supplied by German company Siemens, Gazprom plans to supply up to 100 million cubic meters per day. That's according to an official company statement. The pipeline's capacity stands at 167 million cubic meters. Nord Stream is the older one of two parallel pipelines leading from Russia to Germany. The newest Nord Stream 2 was finished recently but isn't used under sanctions against Russia over its war in Ukraine. Well, for more on that, I'm now joined in the studio here by Chris Kober from DW Business. Uh, uh, Chris, what's behind this? Well, you just mentioned it uh, there. Um, uh, according to Gazprom, the reduction is necessary because of the repair of compressor units uh, by Siemens, a uh, company many of us know, uh, I'm sure. Um, and apparently there was some delay in getting these compressors back from Siemens. We have to understand that Siemens, along with other many Western companies, uh, went out of the Russian market uh, um, after uh, Moscow's uh, invasion of, of Ukraine. Um, so there might have been uh, some difficulty there in actually repairing um, these units. Now, that is the official statement of Gazprom. Of course, it comes at a time uh, when Russia has cut gas deliveries to numerous European nations, among them Finland, the Netherlands, uh, and, and Poland. And it comes at a time when Russia uh, when Ukraine, rather, uh, temporarily halted uh, the transit of Russian gas bound for Europe uh, amidst the fighting in the Luhansk region. Now, uh, what does it mean on the receiving end, Germany being very, very dependent on, on Russian gas? It might not have that big of Im an impact currently because uh, summer is just around the corner in Europe. We are well out of the heating season. Um, but it could make uh, it more difficult filling the necessary reserves for when temperatures are dropping again in fall and in, in, in winter. And that has been one of the decisive issues here when it comes to the question of how Germany can transition away from its dependence on Russia when it comes to uh, fossil fuels and, and energy. The question being, Will people freeze in winter times? And obviously, politicians are trying everything to avoid that. So uh, having less gas now might make it more challenging to fill up these reserves. Uh, currently, uh, Germany is, is, is quite on track in filling these reserves. But again, it can be, uh, it could, could be more difficult should this turn out not to be a short-time problem, but maybe something different, something more long-lasting. I guess we'll find out in the winter. Chris Kober, the DW Business. Thank you, Chris. Well, let's cross over to our chief political editor, Michaela Kufner. Hi, Michaela. Good to see you. Now, what's behind this decision by Gazprom to limit supplies? Well, Gazprom says it's not its uh, decision that this is due to maintenance work that was uh, needed on that pipeline that supplies most of German uh, gas directly through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. Compressor units are being serviced by Siemens. We understand that they are actually ready for replacement. And the big question now is um, why they have been unable to be delivered back and whether the timing of of this maintenance is earlier than due. Um, that was expected this summer, although it's not possible at this point in time to really uh, find out whether it is the Russian side that is deliberately limiting or whether it really is the European side that is dragging its heels in terms of delivering the equipment, uh, the hardware required to keep the pipeline running at this moment in time. But it's a highly sensitive issue as Europe is trying to store up its gas storage ahead of what could be another long autumn or winter. Uh, well, that brings me on to my, my next question, Michaela. Does it mean that we'll soon see natural gas shortages here in Germany and perhaps in the rest of Europe? That's an issue that is looming for now. We're hearing that nobody's um, seen any drops yet and that there is monitoring going on. And in parallel, we've seen the German government announce that it is uh, not just continuing its effective control of gas from Germania, which is, uh, holds major gas infrastructure, particularly storage infrastructure and pipeline infrastructure here in Germany, but that the German government is also going to grant uh, gas from Germania 
Germania uh, a, a billion euro loan to keep it afloat and to keep it from going uh, into insolvency. Uh, also, it will be renamed uh, into Energy uh, for Europe, Energy Security for Europe. So clearly, this is also an uh, information war in the making here, a propaganda a PR uh, point scored there by the German side against uh, what is effectively still a Russian-owned company here in Germany. DW's chief political editor, Michaela Kufner. Thank you.